Why do you think you were appointed to this very important job as school superintendent? Well, I'm very grateful to the governor that he has the trust and confidence and my knowledge, skills, and abilities to be able to lead the Bay District school system. Um, you know, I don't know what all of the factors were that he deliberated on to choose me, but I'm very grateful for that and I'm humbled by that uh, because there's nothing more important in this community than our children. Uh, and certainly, um, I'm going to do everything I can to help our kids have the best opportunity for an education. As a military community with a lot more military families about to move to the area, how do you plan to help the district handle this influx of students? How will your experience as a retired general help with this military growth in our schools? Well, I think all children are important, and certainly our military children are a, uh, a subset of that. And uh, being in the military and being Army, an Army brat, as well as a, a retired Army major general, uh, I've seen the military and the challenges that our military families face and always moving. And so uh, helping to ensure that those children that move here and those families that move here from other locations uh, have the opportunity to have the best education while they're here. It's important for readiness in the Air Force to have high opportunities for education for their family members, and certainly that's what we're going to try to do here in Bay District Schools. One issue for recruiting one issue for recruiting professionals to the community is making sure we have a high performing public schools. What will you do to make sure people moving here feel confident in the education their children will receive? Yeah, so. Uh, um, my wife is an educator. She retired after 30 years of teaching uh, ESE students here in the Bay District School System. So I've, I've had an opportunity to see the caliber of the teachers and the faculty that are here within the Bay District Schools. And, and uh, they're amazing. And they're having to overcome immense challenges. And so as a superintendent, I see it as my job is uplifting them and equipping them to be able to do the job that we're asking them to do, which is to educate our children. And so uh, one of the primary focuses that I'm going to have is to be able to focus on what do we need to do to put more effort in the classroom and to resource those teachers and equip them to do what we're asking them to do. They're amazing uh, teachers and they have a passion for education and I want to do everything I can to help support that. Recruiting and retaining teachers is a problem. How do you plan to recruit more teachers with experience to Bay District schools, especially considering nearby Walton County is ranked third in the state? So there's a lot of things, like I said just a moment ago, that we need to do to help our teachers, and, uh, and that is not only resourcing and equipping them, but supporting them in all that they're doing. And I think when uh, other teachers are looking at places to work and they see the level of support that they're going to gain from Bay District Schools that uh, I'm, I think that that will be a game changer. It's a team effort that we have to go after. It's, uh, it's the administration, it's uh, faculty, it's parents all coming together to help make this the premier education system that we expect here in Bay District School System. Looking at recent test scores, Many schools in the district, especially in the eastern portion of Bay County, show students are performing below grade level. What will you do to improve this? What do you think is the cause of this problem? Well, as I shared earlier, I don't think that any school system has been challenged more than the Bay District school system in the last five years. I mean, with Hurricane Michael, Hurricane Sally, Tropical Storm Fred, the COVID experience, wildfires, all of those things had impact on families and certainly children. Um, but I'm going to tell you the heroes are our families and our heroes are our, our teachers and they've stuck with it. Uh, I intend to do everything I can to help make this a better uh, opportunity for educators uh, and for our students. And uh, uh, that's not to be um, critical of the previous administration because those challenges were immense that they overcame. But now we've got the foundation to move forward and I'm intending to move forward. Those recent test scores also showed charter schools in Bay County are outperforming public schools. As superintendent, how will you address this? Well, I think uh, when we look at uh, 
uh, the charter schools, private schools, homeschooling, there are options for parents, and parents need to figure out where they want to put their children, and uh, that's a parent's decision. Uh, certainly, uh, my children are products of the Bay District school system. My wife was a teacher in the Bay District school system for 30 years. I believe in the Bay District school system, and so what we're going to do is do everything we can to make it as uh, competitive and as resourced and as agile as our charter schools and private schools. Uh, it, it's not anything other than the fact that we've got great faculty, we've got great administrators, and we're going to get after with a very clear vision on how we're going to support our kids. You are planning to stay on as Panama City City Manager until the end of September. With your new role um, beginning immediately and with school right around the corner, what will happen with your remaining duties as City Manager? Yeah, so it's been a great privilege to be the city manager for the city of Panama City as we're striving to be the premier city in the panhandle of Florida. And, and certainly we've got a great commission that is supportive of me. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, they've asked me to stay as long as I can. And I said I would do at that time, uh, the 30th of September. But uh, I think that they're very supportive of this decision. And I'm looking forward to uh, a very uh, rapid transition uh, with my teammates here. I've got a great team of teams. I've got amazing leaders that are here in the city hall and I have every confidence that they'll be able to carry the, carry the load. The current superintendent is stepping down Monday. Have you had any training from him? And how do you plan to be trained for this role so quickly in such a limited amount of time and right before the start of the school year? Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite interesting. Bill Husfeld is an amazing leader in and of himself, and we're honored that he had 41 years of teaching in the, uh, as an educator and certainly uh, what he did as a superintendent. Uh, I haven't learned anything from him directly, and we haven't sat down. I mean, this notice just came out less than an hour ago. Uh, but uh, I look forward to picking his brain. But more than that, we have a team there at the uh, Nelson Building and looking forward to working with them. Uh, and then uh, also our educators. I intend to get out to each of the schools, talk to parents, talk to faculty, talk to administrators, and let's figure out how we can make this a better school system for all children. Uh, again, uh, the uh, what uh, Superintendent Husfeld had to overcome over the last five years was extraordinary, and I look forward to building on that and moving forward with all of the uh, initiatives and efforts that we're going to be doing in the Bay District Schools. Do you have any plans to change staffing at the district office? I, I don't even know all the members of the district office. So, you know, w one of the things I've always learned whenever I go into a new assignment in the military is you learn the role and function and mission of that organization. You learn the key assets and players in that organization. Uh, I think there are good, um, there are really good employees over there at the uh, district headquarters. But uh, uh, at the end of the day, what we need to do is find out what we need to do is focus on our teachers and the classrooms and what do we need to do to fully resource them and lighten their load so that they can do what they need to do which is teach and so um, that's kind of a philosophy I've always used in any of one of my previous commands certainly uh, what I did here at the city of Panama City and is building the right team and the team that's committed that's going to be able to, to carry on with the mission. If there is one thing you think is most important to fix in our schools what is it? Um, I think uh, having a clear vision and uh, clear objectives on what we're trying to accomplish. There are so many uh, things, in my opinion, that are out there that are just chatter, and let's focus on the basics. Uh, that's what's going to be necessary to give our kids the essentials for life success. And so um, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to defining a clear vision for the Bay District Schools. I'm looking forward to the, uh, engaging the team of teams to be able to make that happen, whether it's uh, administrators, whether it's faculty, whether it's parents, and even students. All of them, we've got to do better, and we can. We can do better. And, uh, um, and uh, I'm looking forward to building on that, which uh, Bill Husfeld has already established advancing the governor's uh, education agenda, and uh, helping parents to be able to be parents. And then lastly, what was your reaction when you got the call? Yeah, I was, uh, it was uh, a little bit of a surprise that when they called and they said in 20 minutes we're going to be making the announcement, uh, but uh, I was humbled. I, I was just really humbled and honored that uh, out of all of those that uh, the governor could pick from that he chose me to do this. And uh, 
Uh, my objective is to pour everything that I can into this job to help make sure that we have the best education within Bay County. And is there anything I didn't ask you that you'd like to share? Oh, there's a lot of things. You <laughs> now, it, this, is, this is a tremendous opportunity. I'm humbled by it, and I'm looking forward to being part of this uh, education environment within the Bay County. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you.